Hello, assalamu alaikum, and welcome to another episode of Let's Eat Street, where we take some of the most mouth-watering dishes from all around the world and bring them to your living room. My name's Waz, and as always, I'm joined by our resident chef, Nitesh, who's going to be taking us through how we can make some of these quick and easy recipes for you guys at home. Chef, there's something fishy going on in the kitchen today. Definitely What's all this fish. about? Look at all this fish. What Pickles. is this? That's prawns. prawns. Yeah. I did not know that prawns look like this before you eat them. I hope they're going to look a lot better. But tell us a little Definitely. bit about what we're going to do today. So, we're going to be making a prawn koli vada. Okay. We've got dill and uh, kasundi mustard uh, salmon. And mm. we've got banana wrapped sea bass. Banana wrapped sea bass. Yep. Okay, cool. So, we got salmon, we got the prawns, and then we're going to do some sea bass as well, yeah? Yeah. What are we going to start with? We're going to start with the, the sea bass. Sea bass. Okay, yeah. have you got a job for me to do as yes, well? Yes, yeah? yes, yes. If you want to pass me the tray. Okay. We'll get the topping for the sea bass ready. So we'll take some uh, shallots. Shall these are not onions? Yeah. No, they're not onions. They're shallots. So basically... What's the difference they between are, onions and shallots? They are from the same family. Yeah. But the taste is different. They're more sweet and uh, they've got this nice sharp taste to it. Uh, we'll start with a bit of... Always learning something new when I'm with you. After shallots, we'll do garlic. A little bit, not all of them. Okay. Probably half of it. Yep, perfect. Half ginger. Yeah, then. <laughs> it's okay, no problem. Half ginger. Can't tell the difference. Perfect, that's it. And a bit, yep. a bit of chilli, chilli as well. Uh, how much is that enough? Uh, two spoons, please. More than that? Yep. Yep, perfect. It's going to be spicy. We've got a little bit of mustard oil because mustard and fish go really well. And now I want you to use your gloves and mix them. Now, here's some I had prepared earlier. Tell me something about fish. I know this might sound like a strange question here. How do you know what's good fish? So, you know when you go to buy fresh fish, uh, the fish has to be firm. So when you press the fish, it should not be squishy, no, it, should, it cannot go in, it has to be firm. <laughs> so you, so you go like, around and press all your fish before you buy it? To be honest, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with the prawns as well, uh, you know actually the, with the prawns, yeah. if you look at the packet, yeah. they come in different sizes. So the one that we're using is U5. They're huge. Yeah, the, they, they are they are U, compared to what I've had before. They are U5. Yeah. And they come in different sizes, 12 to 15, 16 to 20, 21 to 25. So how it works is, uh, back then when there was no kg, they used to use pound yeah. uh, as their weighing uh, measure. measure. Yeah. yeah. So the, this is called U5 because there is less than under five in a pound. And when you say 21 to 25, that means there's 21 to 25 prawns in a pound. And that's how they used to measure back then. I never knew prawns were so complicated. Will you know, add some salt and the chilli powder to it? Actually, let me do that for you. Yeah, my hands. So salt and a little bit of chilli powder. So just for anybody at home, if you want good fish, <laughs> you need to go and press it first. So make sure you press all your fish before you buy it. And they're looking for the firm one, yeah? Yes. Or does the fish press back or something? Like that? <laughs> you wish. We're going to get some firm fish. Right, how's that looking? Okay, perfect. This looks good. Let's start Ready. topping the... Bring on the fish. Got some ready from earlier as well. Do you use gloves when you're pressing the fish? It depends. Obviously, you when you go in the market, it's a bit... Uh, just picturing you raw. walking around, just pressing random fish like, no, no. Okay, now what, what I want you to do is I want you to top this sea bass. With this? With the mixture, yep. Alright. 
How's that? Yep, How's that you? looks good. More? Yeah, now that looks good. So that's one done. Yeah, come on. Okay, okay. I like this. You're trusting me today to do more. Even though I just dropped some of that into your... That's absolutely fine. We can get rid of that. Well, okay. my, my mission is to get you trained up before we finish the season. Come on. Superstar chef. All right. I'll be doing the next season, you know. You know, in the last season we did. Yeah. You used to dry the fish. Yes. And it, had a, see, it had a certain name. Pad dry. Pad dry. Yeah. So if you see the fish, they, the, all the seafood, they're dry. They're not moist. It's because yeah. we have already pad dried. And we've got the last one over here. Perfect. Got the last bit of this. Uh, over with this. Just a touch more. Sure there we go. Perfect. Done. Now we'll keep this aside uh, and let's start with the salmon marination. Cool. Okay, now let's start with the marination of our salmon. Let's go. Salmon. I don't mind salmon. I'm not good with all fish, mm -hmm. especially the one with the head still on there. <laughs> Little sad eyes looking at you, mouth open. Remember the last time we met Tower Pomfret? Yeah, I've never done that before and I've never <laughs> done that since. I trust you though. So we're going to go okay. with it. So we'll start with a little bit of lemon juice for this one. This is sort of a grilled item, so we want to keep it as dry as we can. We're grilling it. We're grilling it, yeah. Okay. We go salt, turmeric. Then we've got garlic, ginger, chili. Of course. Do you make anything leaves. without chili in there? Uh, can't remember to be honest. The answer is no. <laughs> you don't. I've got a bit of kasuri methi. Now these are the dried methi. Okay, now there's one ingredient that we're going to be using now. Mm. It's this kasundi mustard. Yeah. So, this is basically black mustard, yellow mustard. It's been fermented for about seven days. They add a bit of mango to it and uh, vinegar. And they ferment it for seven days. It's You can buy it from the shop. But I'm, uh, yeah. If you just they use those ingredients, it, you can just make it at home, yeah? Yes, yes. You can just make it at home as well. But as I said, it is one of the... Uh, the West Bengal part of India, yeah, that's where it is from. That is sort of the traditional. Uh, what did you say? Black sauces. mustard. Black mustard, yellow mustard, uh, vinegar, vinegar, mango, and you just leave it there for about seven days. Let it ferment, and then you blend let it. Let it ferment. Yeah. Fermenting is very important. You have to ferment. And then that's where you Must get ferment. the flavor. So basically, uh, you know when how we use yeast uh, in the flour. Yeah, yeah. So the process of the flour of you know rising of the flour and everything is called fermentation, basically, and that's what we're gonna do with this product. Uh, oh, fermentation! You mean like uh, the chemical breakdown of a substance by bacteria, yeasts, or other microorganisms, often resulting in effervescence okay, and the release a bit of heat. Uh, yeah, that's quite impressive. Yeah, fermentation. I said fermentation is the way you were saying it. Ferment. I used to fermentate oh, all, the, all the time back in the day. They used to call me the fermentator. Fermentation, <laughs> man. Come on. <laughs> Should I just said that? Ah, right, cool. So, so a now that we fermented, no. What this we is next? what. This is what you get after you ferment it. That's, That's what it. I was going to say. And then we're going to use that as a marination. Yeah. One of the marination ingredients. And yeah, a spoon of yogurt. That's it. And then just going to mix it. Now we're going to leave it aside and start with our prawns. So now I'm going to put this fish in the oven. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is uh, put a little bit of oil at the bottom. Yeah. And then when I place the fish, I want to make sure the skin is uh, touching the pan. I want the meat at the top and the uh, skin at the bottom. Why? Because when you take it out, the, because of the oil, the skin will get crispy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So when you eat the fish, you got the meat which is nice and soft and the crispy skin of the fish, which is obviously the best way to 
enjoy your fish with the crispy Perfect. skin. So that's ready to go in the oven now, That yeah? is ready to go in the oven now, yeah. Awesome. What sort of temperature, how long do we leave it in there? Uh, it's about 180 degrees. We'll keep it for about 15 minutes and I've, th th that's enough. And you know, once you take the fish out of the oven, I'm going to show you, we are going to leave it to rest for about two minutes. Yeah. And then before we obviously actually eat the fish. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, we are good to go. Okay, I look forward to that. Another thing that I'm looking forward to is these prawns. Hopefully, they're going to look a lot more appetizing than that. Join us again after this short break and let's eat street. So let me tell you about this fermentation stuff, yeah? Welcome back to Let's Eat Street, where our sea bass is wrapped, our salmon is in the oven, our gloves are on, and we're ready for our Get prawns. Up. What are we going to do with these prawns, chef? We're going to marinate the prawns for prawns yeah. koliwada. Now, this is uh, actually quite a, a very, you can say, sort of, Famous, 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 oh, famous recipe yeah. in uh, Bombay. So it's called prawn koliwada and uh, the guy who actually made this dish was from Punjab. But he obviously migrated to Mumbai and then he started selling this prawns. And obviously this prawns got so famous uh, that today obviously I think probably every restaurant in Bombay sells this uh, prawns. And wow. his stall was in... Uh, a place called San Koliwada. So that's why this dish got the name Prawns Koliwada. From that, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the taste of this dish has got nothing to do with the Punjabi cuisine nor uh, Maharashtrian cuisine. It's just a unique recipe. Okay. Created by that man. Created by that man and obviously which is uh, selling, it's quite popular now. We should thank Mr. In case you're watching Mr. Koliwada. Thanks for the... Do you think he's watching? I don't think he's there anymore. Oh. <laughs> because he's... Uh, he's probably... Grandsons are running uh, restaurants there with this unique recipe of his. All right, well, thank you. Anyway, we're going to make your prawns today. They're looking colourful already. So in what here, I like about your food. It's always colourful as well. Yeah. Not, not just tastes good, but it always looks good as well. So in here, we, go, we started with lemon juice. Yeah. Then we got carom seeds. Salt, garam masala, chilli powder, turmeric, fresh ginger, garlic, chilli and then we're going to obviously do the first marination. We're going to mix all of them together for the first marination. You know, I think you're going to enjoy these prawns. Well, they already look better than <laughs> what they did before. You know what it is? Look, I'm going to be honest with you, with the fish. Yeah. I struggle sometimes. I that exactly. pomfret that we had in the first season. Yeah. I've never had something like that before. So usually I don't even eat sea bass. How about fish and chips? I love fish and chips. It's just an Indian version of it. Indian Especially version. this one will be really close to your fish and chips. Am I getting chips with it? Ah, no, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just got Mr. Koliwara's prawns. Thank you. Okay, so... No chips though. No chips though. He'll be, he'll be very, very He upset. should have done it with chips. But as I said, I don't think the culture of the chips is as strong in India as Well, in India is missing out there because <laughs> fish and chips is the perfect combo. Why fish and chips? Why? Because it just works. Fish and chips, they go hand in hand or fin in fin. Well, potato doesn't have a fin. But you know what I mean, man. Potato and fish, best combination. Ketchup. you got to <laughs> add ketchup. You know, you put chili on everything. Fish and chips, bit of ketchup, salt and vinegar. We will cook an Indian version of fish and chips for you very soon. I would yes. love that. Okay, Your so take on a fish and chips. I'm just going to put chilli powder on a fish and <laughs> chips on you. There is a lot of other spices than uh, chilli powder. Now I'm looking but forward yeah. to these though. But yeah, so this is ready. How are you going to cook these? You're going to deep fry it. Okay. Yeah. Finally something fried. 
So the cooking of this prawns will depend on the size of the prawns. Now these are quite big, so they will take at least about uh, four to five minutes to fry thoroughly. Uh, but the prawns are smaller size, then yeah, I think a couple of minutes uh, should be good. The smaller the prawns, they're better uh, because the bigger uh, the chips, the better. How is this all missing? <laughs> so you know what happens is obviously when you marinate the prawns. All the spices and everything goes uh, inside the prawns and more the prawns absorbs the masalas, the more tasty it is. This is going to be some flavorful prawns, yeah? Yes, definitely, they will be. It's the biggest prawns I've seen, I tell you. It is actually, you know what, uh, anything bigger than this, it is quite hard to find in any of these markets. As I said, they are U5, you get U12 as well, but I think a standard size prawns should be 1620 is fairly a decent size uh, prawns if you want to buy from the market. You get it peeled, uh, cleaned, get it frozen, you can just come defrost it and... You're really yeah. into your prawns, aren't you? I am really yeah. into my food. You haven't? Oh, okay, food. <laughs> but especially prawns. This passion about prawns. So our prawns are done now. We'll just start with the sea bus. Okay, and the leaf. And we're not frying this, no? No, we're not going to fry it. It's going on the grill? It is going to go on the grill. But what you can also do is uh, at home, just take a non-stick pan, grease it a little bit yeah. and uh, it's good to go. Okay. So you don't have to have a grill at home. If you've got a non-stick pan, pan, grease it a little bit and you can do it like that. Why banana leaves out of all things? So this, in a banana leaf. so this is actually, uh, you can say, a um, merger of North Indian and uh, South Indian sort of cooking. South Indians use a lot of banana leaf in their cooking because it's uh, very convenient for them. And uh, back in those days, to be honest, what they used to do is, uh, when there was no non-stick pans and no oils, they actually used to put a banana leaf uh, in the mud pot yeah. and then they used to cook oh, so, there's okay. no, the, so there's no food gets stuck at the base of so the pan. It naturally just has the same effect. Exactly. Yeah. Topping of the fish uh, with any sort of uh, masalas is very, very normal North Indian. It's very normal in North Indian cuisine. Yeah. So obviously I merged it, what I've done is I took that part from North India, wrapped it with banana leaf from South India and then that's a new just dish. Merged India. Just exactly. That's how it done. There we go. So we got a bit of North India, we got a bit of South India. You put it together. Yes. Made your own little Nitesh remix. And that's what we're gonna try today. I'm looking forward to it. Yep. So we've got everything ready now. Uh the salmon in the oven is cooked and ready. Uh we've got the sea bass which is cooked and we've got the prawns as well, which is ready to serve. So let's start plating. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Come on, Nitesh. Not letting this one go. I'm hungry, bro. Put the prawns. I don't know how I feel about this fish because I'm hungry, but I'm not a fan of sea bass. Now the prawns, nice, I can do that. The salmon, I can do that. Would be better with a bit of chips. And then we'll check on our salmon. Fish, chips, knife, fork. Bit of mushy peas, curry sauce, ketchup. Can't go wrong. All of this is a bit long. It's fish and chips, but no, we're gonna fermentate it. So what I would normally do is, once I get my salmon out of the oven, I would leave it for about one minute to rest. Now there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, what happens is once you take the fish out, the fish would cook on its own heat. So if there is any part of it which is probably uncooked in the oven, the heat will reach to the core and the fish will be cooked. And the second reason is, 
the skin it will just come out it won't touch to the tray we are just going to make this plate look a bit better going to add some the leaves on the side a bit of probably two wedges of lemon and the green chutney So already, so we've got the dill and mustard, the salmon tikka, prawn koli vada, and banana wrapped sea bass. Let's have a vas. Prawn koli vada. Looks like a pakora. Yeah. There's not a certain part that I'm not meant to eat or nope, anything like nope, that. No. Nope. Okay. Would have been better with chips, but. This is not stop eating, is it? They're really good. We don't even need the chips. You sure? Hmm. You need to get some nice big prawns like this if you make this at home. Give it a try. Dill and mustard salmon tikka. I'm not done with that. But let's try it. Yeah, with a bit of green chutney on the side. Oh yeah. Kusundi. What's the dill and what's the kusundi? Dill is the dill. Dill because you put your heart into it. You can. Mom, no, heart is already in there. Ah. So yeah. dill is obviously the dill leaves and uh, the mustard is, you know, the kasundi mustard I was talking about. That was amazing. That was amazing. Chutney is amazing. Mm -hmm. This one is the one that I feel like I'd struggle with. Oh, I don't eat sea bass usually. You've done your little remix. So we're going to have to taste it. So, do I eat the leaf? Just the fish? No, just the fish. That doesn't taste how it looks. But that's really good. But as you know, when, um, when you're topped up with the shallots and garlic and ginger, mm -hmm. It soaked all the juices from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just not as fishy anymore. Exactly. Since the, it's, uh, I know it's fish, but it's the fishiness of the fish. Yeah. If that makes sense. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well done. Glad you enjoyed. Always in for a surprise when Chef Nitesh is cooking. Make things that I don't usually eat. It makes me a fan of him. He does it every time. The salmon, the prawn. The sea bass, you can find all the recipes quick and easy for you to try at home. Make sure you give it a go and let us know what you think. And we'll see you next time on Let's Eat Street. To find the recipes for this episode, visit www.imanchannel.tv forward slash Let's Eat Street.